Today we're going to learn how to get all these people low poly, totally free to use for your projects. So let's see. So basically the other day I was trying to look for a 3D model of people to use in my projects. So I was in this website, Sketchfab, a place to download free models and paint models, trying to look for these models. So basically after a while trying to look some really cool people to use, I found this pack. So basically, this pack that we have to say thanks to this guy called Lloyd, so thank you very much, it's a free pack. A free pack of 300 people. And as you can see, they are low poly. That means that we cannot see the face and the details. But more or less, you can see if it's a woman, if it's a man. For example, we can see that this, I don't know, looks like a ninja. As you can see, there is a lot of people that we can use and also we have slim people, fat people, tall, we have kids, we have, we have a lot of things to use. Also we have Waldo here, so this character, and all this is totally free. So to get this pack, the only thing you have to do is to get an account in this website, and later just go here in download 3D model, and download the first one, the one that is FBX. Click here, and you will get this pack totally free. Once it's download, just open it, and you will find two folders. This one of textures, we have an image because it's the image of Waldo, this character that in Spain is called Wally. So this one folder, but if you don't want to use this character, only use this folder, this file. So what I'm going to do is to unzip, decompress this file. So we have it here, and now what I'm going to do is to change the name, because if not, I will not know what is this file. So I'm going to write something like free 300 people low poly. So for the future projects, I know that this file has a lot of low poly people. Now let's go to Blender. Once we are in Blender, let's delete everything. And to import this file, go to File, Import, and search for this format, FBX. And then go to the folder where you have the file. Here I have it, I select it, and I select import. And as you can see, we have already all these people in Blender. By the way, if you see this grid, this square, it's because in theory here should appear Waldo. So if you want to see this, just click and delete it. And as you can see, we have a lot of people. This is really cool because you have a lot of choice to use all these people in your projects. When you want to add people in the background and you don't care about the face, the details, the textures, only to have people to make it more realistic. And as you can see, we have almost 300. So we have 297. I say 300 because it's easier, but it's almost 300. And if you want to use only one and you want to move it away from this folder because there's a lot of people here, for example, if you want to use I don't know. For example, let's select this one with the guitar. So if I want to isolate this one, the fastest way to do it is to select one and press M and create a new collection. You can write a name, for example, let's call single people and click create. So now this person is in a separate collection. So if we close this one, we can see that it's here. So we can hide the other collections. And if you want to move it in the center, the fastest way is to press N, and when you are here, press delete. So everything will be zero. And really important, all the people have the midpoint in the feed. If you want to change the midpoint, just go to edit mode and press Z, Z, and move the person. But personally, I prefer in the feed. And if you want to add more people in this pack, what you can do, for example, let's try to find someone else. I don't know. For example, let's select this one. So if I want this one, the only thing I have to do is to press M again and select the new collection, the one that we created. So if I click here, I'm sending this one to this collection. So now I have this and this in the single people collection. So you can create your own pack 
with the people that you want if you want to use it in a scenario. Now let's see how we can use all these people in a real environment using Geometry Nodes. So I'm going to move these two in the previous pack. And what I'm going to do, by the way, I'm going to move this one, for example, here, more or less. And what I want is to go to this collection, to add an object, a cube, to use Geometry Nodes. So I have this in a separate collection, really important. Uh, let's hide this. And let's go to Geometry Nodes, create a new profile. I'm going to close this panel. And let's use a grid. Let's connect it, make it bigger. And let's use instance on points. Because we are going to use this collection, these people, as instance to set it in the points, in the vertex of this object. So what we have to do right now is to call collection info. And then select the collection, this one. And I recommend you, before you connect this here, really important, to click here. Why? Because when you click here, basically what you are saying is that in every vertex, you only want one single person. If this is disabled, that means that when we are going to connect in every vertex, is going to be the full pack of people. So maybe your computer is going to crash or go slow. Trust me, I tried and it's frustrating. So click here and then connect it. And now we cannot see anything because we need to click here and here. And now as you can see, it's working perfectly. And we are using a grid of three by three. So we have nine people. And as we are using this collection, we have different random people in this mesh. If you want to add more people, then increase the number of vertex. You can increase the size, add more people. And if you don't want all the people perfectly aligned, like right now, I'm going to hide this, then what we have to do is to use distribute points on faces. So we can distribute people more randomly, as you can see right now. However, if we use like this, you can decrease the density here. So it looks more real. But maybe you will find people overlapping, like these two, that they are touching each other. So to avoid this, what we have to do like here too, as you can see, they are really close. The only thing we have to do is to change, instead of random, select poison disk. So with this, it's the same, but here we can define a minimum distance between every instance. So if we increase this, it will be less and less people, as you can see right now. Because basically, what we are saying is like we want a circle that inside there is no one. So, more you increase this, bigger is the circle, as you can see. So, we don't have any one overlapping. And if you have someone that you don't like, by the way, if you increase this, we will get more people. For example, let's decrease this. And maybe there is someone that I don't like. So the point is that if there is someone that you don't like, the only thing you have to do is to go back to the original connection. And then, for example, if I don't like this one with the open arms, you can delete it and then it will disappear of the pack. Look, every time I delete on one, so I'm going to delete it again. This is being updated. Or what you can do, remember, is to create your own pack of people and then use the ones that you prefer. As you can see, this is really cool. To create this type of environment, it's really cool to use this pack that is totally free. And you can use it, for example, in cities, in houses, in, I don't know, in any project, or you can use one single person for your animations or ideas. 
And also remember, if you want, for example, to only have people in some places of the surface, for example, here, or I don't know, here, here, etc., then I recommend you to watch this tutorial where you will learn how to make a mask for the points. That means that you will have more control to set the people where you want. So if you like this pack of free people, I will leave the link in the description. And once again, thank you so much to Lloyd, the guy that makes this possible totally free. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and remember, you can do this project and many more on my button. And see you in the next video.